So I just had this charming little zoo builder game hit my inbox. And at first I was a little bit kind of like, eh, because the art style is not at all consistent with anything that I normally play here on this channel. But I got to digging into it just a little bit, just reading into it just a little bit. And there's actually a lot to the gameplay experience for this. A lot of flexibility, a lot of replayability and stuff. So many tools uh, that it actually, it's, at least it's worth showing to you guys right now, right? So this is a really early beta version of a game called Let's Build a Zoo. Special thank you to No More Robots for sending me out a copy of this to check out and to share with you guys. Uh, we're just gonna hit new game here really quick. It's a very, again, very early beta version. And uh, it says, hi, I'm off on holiday for two weeks and while I'm gone, who should run my zoo? Again, like a little pixel arty, right? Uh, let's just choose, uh, they all look exactly the same to me. <laughs> I mean, like slight variations in skin tone is all I got here. So we're just gonna call this and we're gonna say, uh, uh, let's just use Hat Hut. We've been using that a lot lately, so <laughs> let's just use that. Okay, now if the graphics style here isn't your thing, just give it a chance, just a little bit. Because like I said, there's a lot that comes to this game, and I don't know if we're necessarily gonna be able to get to it all today, of course, because there's a lot to it, you'll see. Uh, new task. So Kathleen is an investor, and she has a task for us in the management office. Management office is over here. Uh, we got some navigation sort of tutorial stuff to show us, but we move our camera, and look at how big this is. Like, our zoo starts out basically with this size, okay? This is what we're dealing with right now. This is all we got, but if we zoom out, you get all of this. You get all this land, okay? Like eventually, I think eventually you get all this land. <laughs> all right, so here's here's the entrance to our zoo. We got our zookeeper right here, right? So let's go to our management office first. And we have a task and it's, uh, yeah, task complete is just selecting the management office. It's sort of like a tutorial for us here. So all kinds of requests ends up here and I know you will want to keep on top of them. All right, so we have a new task and this one's called building an enclosure. We can actually just pin this, move it over if we'd like to. And uh, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna build an enclosure. Now the build button is kind of hidden. It would be cool to have it traditionally in the middle here where it's nice and easy to see. Uh, but it's actually way up here in the top right. And uh, if we go in here, we can see that we have a variety of different enclosures that we can build. And for starters, all we get is a grass enclosure, but there's six more types, okay? And then also you can see all these little tabs. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in this. So let's start with the grass enclosure. And, uh, you know, we're looking at what's our design gonna be here? You know, for this zoo. People will start this initial stage off like right over here, let's say. So we'll click. Okay, it's not click and drag. Looks like it's just click. So click and then we move up, okay. Not sure how big I want this thing to be. Let's go maybe, maybe we'll just go like this big, I guess. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll give this a shot, I guess. Yeah, there we go. So a little, little grass enclosure, I guess. And we need to put a gate in there in order to complete it. So how about we put it right about, I don't know, let's say here. Okay, task is complete. Build an enclosure, great. Now that we have an enclosure, we can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on the planet Earth. Okay, so uh, it looks like the Australian zoo is has a bit of an overpopulation problem. Does he have a gift for us? Okay, visit my zoo and let me tell you about it. Okay, so unlike what I thought was gonna happen with a zoo builder game where animals just show up, uh, not necessarily the case. We have a world map. Yeah, you gotta source your animals, okay? And uh, Australia is uh, pinging us here, so let's go ahead and take a look. It says, uh, hi, uh, we had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month, and we just don't know what to do with all of them. Oh, I heard you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared furballs. So uh, what do you say? We're gonna get one male and one female rabbit, I guess. So let's go ahead and just get them. They've been added to our collection, good. I'm sure our guests will love these little rabbits. And now we need to select an enclosure to deliver them to. Uh, so I guess it'll be this one. There we go, completed all the tasks from that person. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, now it wants me to open the place for business, to earn a living, probably start time to earn a living, yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. And it looks like 
The rabbits are coming in on a big old box. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Um, I think ticket office, we just take, we can adjust ticket prices. Uh, we can do park staff and get different staff involved. Transport through here, and then there's an appearance section. We can change what our zoo looks like if we'd like to as well. Uh, right here, I think we're gonna do this whole beaver thing. I think so. Does it take money to renovate this? I don't think it does, nah. Okay, uh, so how do we start? Park, though. How do we open it up? Do we do this in the management office? Tasks, move, appearance, collection. Oh, just this big open zoo button. <laughs> you guys don't know this, but um, my microphone, when I'm when it's in front of my face, it actually covers this small corner right here up. Oftentimes, I'll move my head a little bit just to kind of see that all the time, but that my, my little microphone was obstructing that button. In any case, 25 customers is the current task. We just need people to come on in and see the bunnies, but they probably want uh, a little bit. We can beautify the place up, right? They're just going to come over and look at the bunnies, but see, they, they walk pretty slowly. But why don't we go ahead and build something here? Uh, we've got a lot of different things we can build. I'm thinking we can maybe get a hot dog shop or a gift shop. A gift shop would be interesting to do. And you know, like, like getting the gift shop like right in front here is probably a cool idea. Why don't we put it like right here? We're gonna have to hire somebody. I guess it's 50 bucks. Maybe we pay them more. Does it, does it have any, can I, can I pay them less? <laughs> I don't know what it does. If I pay them less, do they work less hard or are they just not as good at their job? I don't know. Um, let's take a look and maybe we get some bricks and we can lay out a path uh, through here. I'm gonna bring this all the way out to here as well. And uh, maybe we'll bring this actually all the way around. Oh, here we go. Limited time quest. Research grant. Build a research building. Uh, I represent a zoological foundation, the zoological foundation for research. And I'm here to offer you a grant. If you build a research building before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. Wow. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll try that. Uh, the Horizon Herald has a news report about us. Plans for research hub and local zoo. Uh-huh, yeah. There has been a leak at the local zoo has upcoming plans for a research hub. Once that is built, one can expect new and exciting items to appear in the zoo. This is uh, yeah, great. All right. So it's like, a, yeah, part of the tutorial experience there, I guess. So uh, we're going to do that. Let me just uh, maybe get I don't know, a path so they can see all around the bunnies. And uh, I also think we're going to probably get this walking path all around the gift shop a little bit. Sort of like um, as we walk through the zoo... Right, they can, uh, you know, they can they can get that. There's a gift shop there, a nice little central area, right? I think that works. So uh, the research hub is the next thing we want to get. It says researchers use this building to discover new upgrades for your zoo. You can only have one of each type of research hub in your zoo. I mean, I think I'm gonna just, I don't know, maybe we uh, put this over here, I guess. Uh, it's like a, right in the front. I don't know if I want that next to exhibits and stuff, but um, also I was wondering, can I? Yeah, rotate. There we go. Uh, maybe we put this like uh, maybe like this. There we go, and we'll just hire somebody for that. Uh, all right, so let's get uh, gray bricks, and I'm just gonna kind of lay this in right now, so it, the path goes off to, to see these guys. Now we can also do other things too, like grass, for example. If I want grass to be, maybe this area is in a in a grassy area, right? So that's kind of cool. Um, we can also make grassy areas through here, and you know, I can actually can make like a grassy area right here if I want to. You know, something like uh, like this. That's not bad. And uh, maybe we want to do some decor stuff, like uh, we could put trees and flowers, maybe like a, a little tree right here, just to like, I don't know. Maybe do the whole thing grass, actually. And go, like, grass all the way out to here. Or, well, we, we might actually do a path this way, but... Um, other things you can do are, like, signs. Like, you can have a sign board. Maybe right here. Kind of... I don't know. Mark this down. I can't really see it when it's this direction, but... I'm thinking if we had a sign board here that said, Welcome to our rabbits, or see the rabbits, or something. 
face it that direction. I know we can't really see it ourselves, but face it that direction. Maybe we want like a, a map of the zoo and where they are. We can pl place this down right here. So they know where to go, you know? I mean, I'm not sure how they could get lost with just the rabbits, but yeah, sure. We need to get a whole bunch of customers to continue this, right? We have bear fun. There's a fountain we can put in. Yes, absolutely. That sounds cool. As they as they walk through our zoo, they can see this stuff. Now, does this have cost is $150. I'm currently at $983. And I'm not sure what my budget is. Uh yep. Game saves at the end of every calendar day. There's an autosave to this. Franny, she's a complainer. Oh, hey there. Uh, I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. Uh, I have a small observation though. Perhaps you uh, might want to feed your animals. Hunger leads to starvation and starvation leads to death. And I don't want dead animals stinking up the neighborhood, so build a storeroom. Okay. So that's what we want to do first, I guess. So let's take a look and see if we can find storerooms. And we have a shelter. That's not a store. Maybe it's here. Ooh, I think we need to unlock this. Hang on, let's go to research real quick. Ah, here we go. So we have certain things. We can do the decoration packs, animal enrichment packs, um, another decoration pack, and then there's facility sushi shop, or uh, sorry, slushy shop. <laughs> I wish I could do sushi here. Uh, I don't see anything for storeroom, so potentially I'm not looking in the right spots. Give me a second, let me go build, and let's just go down the list here and see if I can find anything that is a storeroom. There it is, okay, we'll put the storeroom. Um, maybe all the way in the corner over here. Although, if we do it more centrally located for later, might work. That might work better. Let's just try it here instead. Hire somebody to work that, I guess. Or why we need an employee for a storeroom, but sure. Uh, okay, so we do that. Uh, let's see. What else can we do for making this look better? We got uh, benches. Hmm? These little white benches. Oh, hey, look at that. You can just you can hang out in the benches. Uh, welfare report. Uh-oh. Uh, great to see a new zoo. It seems like you have a few things to solve, though. I will just give you some advice for now, but next time I won't be so generous. You do not have water coverage for your animals. Build water troughs and ensure water pump coverage. Your animals have gone without food. Buy a store and run away. I just did that. Your animals are not being treated very well. Please try to do better. Next time I won't be so lenient. Okay, so we're getting a C. Fair enough. If we do really well, it looks like we get bonuses and uh, we pay fines if we do badly. So there we go. Okay, uh, how do I get out of this? I'm hitting escape, but nothing's happening. Oh, I guess I just have to pick an outcome. Gotcha, okay. All right, so we got a couple of benches here. They can hang out with the bunnies. It looks like we actually have a baby bunny. All right, fair enough. Um, are we supposed to do anything inside this pen to help this animal? Like, are we supposed to like give them Oh, it's an owl clock, or we have signboards already, flower patches, tall trees. Uh, I'm not, I'm wondering if there's anything I can do. Ah, water pumps. There we go. So the water pump can be nearby, I guess. And it looks like it has to be, does it have to be anywhere specific? Can I just put it, you know? Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try this. We can put it right here. Yeah, I can put it right here where this bench is. So maybe I move the bench. Can I move? How do I move the bench? You. Can I move? Yeah, move. Here we go. I move you here, let's say. And then I want to get a water pump. Oh, where was that? I saw the water pump, but I don't remember where it is. It's in here somewhere. We will find it. There it is. Okay. It's in this one. Uh, water pump can go right there. All right. And then maybe these guys can get hooked up to, uh, to this. And then also I'm thinking a restroom for, for guests. A guest restroom is probably a great idea. We could put this off the beaten path a little bit, or maybe we just put this right on there. Uh, I think maybe we could put it over here, actually. That's pretty fine. I think we could do that. And then uh, we take the gray bricks. And I'm not entirely sure. I guess we put this underneath, right? So... I, I, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit kind of iffy on how the pathing systems work. Um, it, it basically works by either toggling it on or off. So if I click this with the gray bricks, it uh, takes it away. And if I click it again, it puts it back, right? 
It's the same op operation to click or to, to remove or anything, right? Um, I don't know. It's just a little weird, but uh, I'm, I'm all right with it. Going on that note, though, I think maybe we just make that whole thing like this. Yeah. And then we have $674. It's showing me profit, but I don't know if we can actually see the cash flow. So I don't know if I'm exactly profitable or if my losses are simply related to, you know, buying things. All right. We completed both of these tasks. Finish the task, it says. Uh, yes. I think so. I just hit this. Yes. They have a new task for me now. Great. Hire a janitor. Okay. We'll look at that. Task completed here as well. Let's just click these. Uh, we did the yeah, proving grounds. All done. Now they have a new task for me, it looks like. Game saves at the end of cal every calendar day. Indeed. All right. This one wants us to do a seed fund. Since I invested in this business, you have various performance targets to hit in order to unlock more capital. Reach 100 total customers, and I will release some additional funding. Cool. We'll do. Uh, and then we also want to do this one. This person uh, has no more tasks for me. Okay. Good. So now we're just looking at hiring a janitor, which should be a pretty easy one to do. We can pin the tasks over here whenever we want to. So hiring a janitor. I wonder if this... Uh button would this be Ooh, hang on we can do more animals if we want to as well Ooh, okay give me a second so i'm looking for the menu for hiring people do we do that at the management office ah maybe it's in the ticket office park staff ah maybe it's this yeah how do we how do i go ahead and, and hire one of these guys recruitment job openings okay open job positions yeah recruitment uh Open positions to allow applicants to apply for the job. Okay. Can I have... I guess this is just janitors, right? Yeah, okay. So we have to open... We have to say, hey, we have a job opening here. And then it will search for people who want the job. Opening a job position will require a basic administration cost. I guess it's $5. We can also incorporate social media or a job portal to get even more. I'm going to go ahead and just let it go. With one, one opening is fine. Okay. I'm um, just going to cycle through these tutorials and stuff really quick. Placing gates and uh, locations and all these things. Now, we have other zoos, right? And uh, we might want to open up pens for more animals, of course. So why don't we go ahead and back to the map and just see what's up with all these. Um, we love horses and they love apples. Okay, so it looks to me like we can get... Hmm, do we trade the baby bunny? Is that what that is? For horses? That seems like a good trade. I'm not entirely sure what kind of pen we need for those guys, though. Um, what about down over here? Animal shelter. We got two pigs and rabbits and another pig. Okay, we can rescue. These are rescue animals. Hmm, can you offer them a new home? Okay, and then over here, looks like we have... Uh, you know what's the cutest animal that is a lot of people haven't heard of? That's right. It's the capybara. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> they are pretty cute. All right. We gonna need, we're going to need more pens and stuff for these guys, though, right? So let's, um, let's take a look here. We can still only do the grass pens. But if I was to research something, maybe we can get to other things. So why don't we go to uh, unlock animal psychology studies. This will unlock other facilities. Maybe we start the slushy shop. Whoa. <laughs> we, just, we just hold it down and it works? Nice. <laughs> okay. Cool, I guess. You've unlocked this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what it looked like. Uh, uh, animal rich pack. Trampolines. Hmm. Unlock psychological studies or enrichment pack or decorations. Let's try this one. Wow. Okay. It's really violent. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's on theme or not. It looks like the research facility is constantly generating these points and then we can spend them. So I haven't been wasting my time. Uh, we're, we are still banking them up. So we can get facility packs or tall fountains, and there's also decoration packs, etc. And I'm thinking, like, going down the different facilities is pretty cool. So we got this, and then there's more benches we can get, or there's more balloon shop. Uh, a big fountain, but we can't afford the big fountain. Ah, it takes five points to research that one. Okay, then. Well, I guess I can probably just... Bend it on maybe these decoration pack here. There we go. Okay. So we got a bunch of different stuff now that we can maybe use. Let's take a look. We want to get... Uh, looks like a giraffe bin. A green bin. A brick wall toilet. Okay. What's the red shelter? 
Play some shelters. Uh, stay in the shade. Increase this decoration. Okay. Oh, this is a big shelter, though, isn't it? Uh, we can put this maybe right here, I guess. And then we can just kind of, I guess, bring the bricks in uh, over here. Yeah, we could just maybe just do this. See how that goes for us. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, let's... I, I want to get a different pen, but it doesn't look like I'm able to do that. So I guess for now, what we can do is maybe we'll get a grass pen for the horses, I suppose. We can put that possibly right here. A pretty, pretty sizable pen area. And then we can go ahead and put this there. Okay, good. Let's go see if we can get those horses brought in. I don't know if they are going to be good for... Actually, the capybaras, man. Yeah, who needs horses when you have capybaras? <laughs> Although, this is a big pen, though. I don't know if that's too much for the capybaras. Let's get the capybaras instead. So, this, like, they want to trade. So, we want to give them rabbits. Oh, I see. Oh, what's this? Offspring chance, 70%. Yeah. Discover all the variants to unlock this genome. Genomes can be used in the CRISPR splicer. Okay. Uh, sure. We have Spirit, Gromit. They each have... Uh, they each have, like, an age to them. Well, these are two kids, right? These are two babies. So we have little baby bunnies here. So, like this, we'll, we'll trade Gromit, I guess. And we'll hit trade. Cool. We're sending off the, the, the bunnies, and they're sending us capybaras. Okay, good. And we'll go ahead and uh, put this in there. So it looks like we've got a day one. Ooh, it's got a little sign here. Yep, arrivals. Okay, cool. Oh, one day. Got it. Coming soon is what this is saying. Yes, yes. I was wondering why this pen didn't have it, but this one does. Okay, copy bars are coming in. Can we build any other type of enclosure? It says research to unlock. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of research can we do to get a different fence navigational uh, I still like the fountain I want that fountain you can go off in every different direction though I only have one decoration point though so maybe not yet saving the game again and we have Joe the exotic animal dealer really Joe okay what's up Joe join the black market uh-huh <laughs> I work for an organization that deals in exotic animal trading you are just the kind of person we want to work with just don't ask any questions. So firstly, I want to sell you something at a very good price just to help build trust between us. Buy an animal from me and we can see how things go. All right, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Come back down to the ticket office. It does specifically say ticket office, doesn't it? Uh, park staff janitor. Okay, here we go. And it looks like we have got one applicant and we want to just go ahead and hire you. There you go. You're in. We did it. All right, good. So now we can have somebody who can uh, clean up the place just a little bit, huh? It's pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at, we have two research points now and it looks like the balloon shop is not available. Navigational, uh, how about hmm, more benches? I'd like to get more fences. <laughs> I guess maybe maybe the horses can be, can be kept in this grass fence, possibly. I'm also wondering whether or not I can upgrade it later. I think it'd be a good idea to be able to upgrade these later. Um, how about we go like this? And we'll send this, I think, all the way to here and then over. And we can stop it right about... This is a bigger area, right? We want we want horses here. So I'm going to... I'm gonna. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Go back. Yeah, like this. There. No, like this. And like this. There we go. It takes a little bit of getting used to how they did this. And I think we'll put the door... Maybe on this side, right there. Okay. For the paths, let's make sure there's a little driveway there. I'm also gonna go ahead and cover this in, like so. And I'm gonna go all the way around this too. Whoops. Oh, just replace this with dirt, please. There we go. And it's just like a paint. You just paint the color you want, you know? You, get, you just have to get used to it. It gets easier. Once you figure it out, it gets easier, but you just gotta get used to it a little bit. And, and let's see, how about grass? In this area, we could put some grass in here. Here we go. 
Yeah, people like to sit on benches with grass, right? That's a thing. Oh, yeah, all around the outside here. Very good. There we go. There we go. And then in here, mm hmm there we go. And maybe all up on this side. I like I like this. Um, change this to really quick. Underneath this. Yeah, whatever. Underneath it, we can be, we can be grass, whatever. Uh, just paint this like so. All up like this. There we go. So it's like a nice, nice little green area around the fences and stuff. And, you know, if we ever want to change what it looks like later, I suppose we can. I'm going to paint this all along like this. There we go. So it's starting to come together, right? Just a little bit. Take a look really quick. See if we can get those horses. Oh, uh, yeah. They just, want, they just want us to trade us a bunny for it. What was the other one again? Oh, it was pigs. Ooh. Animals, rescue animals. Yeah. You know, maybe we can rescue these. I think I'll rescue these. Uh, the rabbits, though, should go in a different pen, right? All right. Select enclosure to deliver your animals to. I think I want the pigs to be over here. But uh, the rabbit's going to have to move over here, right? I think so. Some of these animals look very thirsty. Oh, no. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Um, do we not have enough water pumps? Do we need more water pumps? I can put one in over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cover up, cover up the... Okay, so there's an area of effect on these. Interesting. Okay, so these two have access to the water now. These guys should be not... There should not be any thirst here at all. Um, maybe we take a little giraffe bin. You know, so like they have a place to throw away their garbage. And I'm thinking this little green bin can go right there. And then I wanted to use that... Uh, that fountain. The really good looking fountain. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe we provide... Yeah, you know, we could provide, like, some drinks for these guys. Oh, hang on. There's so much stuff going on here. Uh, the mayor is going to be talking to us now, looks like. We also have uh, the new Toski, Animal Utopia. You know, I really love seeing lots of animals. It's uh, really a pity that I don't see that many here. You should uh, get more of them. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, so I think maybe the slushy shop can go right here to give people... Although, maybe... Putting it over closer to the door would be better. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. And then we want to hire somebody else. Because we make a lot of our money. We have 2100 bucks. We make a lot of our money by, you know, selling stuff. So I'm thinking food and stuff is a good idea. Hot dog shop. Here we go. And, you know, like, I could maybe get the hot dogs to go right up here next to the research. Center. All right. There we go. All right. Now, I'm wondering at what point do we need another storeroom? Maybe there's like an area of effect to this. Also, there's an appearance setting on this. And we can change what it looks like whenever we want. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool. We just change what it looks like right away. All right. It's a little bit like sideways, so we can't really see the difference there. But I'm wondering if all these buildings have managed. This is what I was hoping to see. I was like placing down these buildings, wondering if I could adjust prices. Totally can. Okay, good. So right now we're selling hot dogs for... Uh, a dollar eighty each. Popularity is a little low. That's that's okay. That's honestly, a hot dog for a dollar eighty seems actually a little pricey, <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay. So buying animals from the black market, you say? Hmm. Can there not be any water for these animals? I, there's a water pump right here. What are, you, what are you talking about? There's a lot of water. Unless I'm just crazy. Am I supposed to put another facility in for water? Hold on. Is there like... I want another fountain here too. This is... I want to put a fountain right there. I know, yeah. No water for your animals, but there is for your tourists. Sure. What I don't get though is what's going on with them complaining about water because, I mean, we have... Two water pumps right here. What a boring enclosure. Oh, 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 you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, he did. He did. Build uh, flowers, all right? Look, flowers are, are nearby. You like that, huh? How about this little flower patch here and here? 
What do you think of that? Is that boring now? Huh? How about yellow? I mean, everybody likes flowers, right? <laughs> That's the only thing I got going for me here is, is flowers. Um, what else can we do? Maybe a lamp? Hmm. I already have two lamps here. And actually, it'd probably be a good idea to uh, get grass maybe put in right here. Yeah. That's where the shrubs and stuff are. Something like this. I don't know. I don't like the dirt. I want it all to be grass anyway, so. I guess we'll just cover this all in with grass. Yeah, there we go. It looks, that looks better. Yeah, that looks a lot more natural. That's what we're looking for right there. I guess I can just do that. All right, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to have even more animals. And now there should be a rabbit being delivered here. I want to kind of move that rabbit out of here. What's this? This person has a new task for you. Uh, so we're looking... I saw an icon on this, and it looks like health is low, happiness is low, but their hydration is all the way up. So I, I don't think there's a problem with that. We do have a dietary thing, though, and I can improve their health by improving their diet, probably. There's, like, carrots and all sorts of stuff like that I probably want to buy eventually. There's the pigs. Now, this rabbit. Can I get that rabbit to be brought out of this pig pen? Uh, Murphy. <laughs> the animal's name is Murphy. Got it. You. Can I move you to this pen? Yeah, right here. Move you to the Move you there. Okay, good. All right. So now the now the rabbit's in here. Now that's a pretty small pen for rabbits. So I probably want to expand that eventually. And I'm wondering if it's easy to do that. Let's say edit enclosure. Okay. Um, can I can I make it bigger? Is what I kind of want to do. It doesn't appear as though that's the case. I can add ah. I can add objects. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, that's a little hidden. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's a little hidden. All right. Because, uh, you know, you normally place objects consistently, right? With a, there's a build menu. Place it in there. But this one is like specialty in a edit pen area. Okay. Uh, enrichment. I'll put a little ball in here. Now it's making sense. All right, we're going to get this. And uh, shelters. We don't have any of those for this pen. Okay, so the, like, oh, the bunnies are playing with a ball. Okay, so that's... That's better. That's that's better. Let's do this for the other pens too. Uh, we have the copy bars in here, right? We want to add objects. We're gonna add water. Let's give them a water trough right there out of work. Okay. And then uh, let's add some enrichment stuff. We can give them this little blue ball, I suppose. And uh, we don't have any shelters, right? And we didn't have any decorations. So at least we got that going. And then we've got the pigs, right? And the pigs have the same thing. Add objects. We want to put a water trough in here. I'll put it right there, I guess. And uh, we'll just start basically the same thing until we get different things. So there's a ball in there, too. Okay. So our zoo is coming together, okay? 100%, right? We're almost done to 100, 100 uh, customers. And I'm kind of hoping I can expand because I'm running out of space. Um, I like zoo areas where they are really out and wide open. I don't want them to be all crammed together. Um, the thing is though, we do a little bit more on decor, right? We have trees and stuff. And I think like, like placing trees down would make this place look a lot, have a lot more character, right? Like a little bit here. And then um, I'm kinda hoping for maybe a little bit more variation in the trees. So potentially that's in research. And uh, it looks like we have potted plants and trees. Let's get this one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Shelters for animals. Boom. Now, do I have to hold this down? Because every time I have to hold this down so far. Can I just click it? No, you have to hold to unlock. Okay. That's a little bit a little bit annoying. I hope they change that. Uh, deco packs. I would much rather have a click and confirm than a hold down. But that's just me. It's like a preference thing. It's not like right or wrong. Uh, deco two packs. Okay. Benches. Trampoline is interesting. Like a trampoline for the bunnies? Maybe we can do this one too. It says uh, researcher plus one. I assume this means we can research faster. So uh, we can maybe look to do this. It takes 10 points to unlock that. So so we're not going to be able to do it yet. But I want to experiment with that uh, that shelter. So uh, let's take a look. 
at our pig pen. It's a pretty big one. We can probably afford to fit it in here. We can add objects. Shelter? No. Wait, did I not unlock this? Oh, look, they got little umbrellas. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I thought it was a shelter for animals when I unlocked it, um, but it's not. It's it's just these little other things here, too. So we can have, like, you know, an umbrella here to help them shade themselves from the sun. That kind of thing can happen. Uh, we can put this little tiki shelter can be right here, I guess. Really crowded, though. I, I want it to stay... Like, I don't want it to stay super crowded. Can I... Can we unlock more land? Let's try this. Finish this task. Uh, seed fund done. Give us 1500 bucks, And uh, it's great to see our business growing. I need to report to my partners on the growth. So your next goal is to reach 200 total customers. All right. It's keeping my, my task there. Uh, have 25 animals is also a goal. And I think maybe, maybe the animal goal will allow me to expand to more land. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you know what? This is kind of interesting. Like, this is a little bit weird to me. It doesn't look like the path is required to, like, to use that gate. So I'm just going to make that all grass for now. Because it looks like they can just get in the grass if they want to, to see the pen. I'm okay with this, like, going and stepping on the grass to see the attractions kind of thing. I'm, I'm all right with that. All right. So, we saved the game. Day six, all that stuff. And I think... I mean, there's there's still so much to unlock. Like, this is nuts. There's even a scroll bar here. Pine trees. I was looking for some tree diversity. Uh, we could pop a tree over here, let's say. And maybe this darker pine tree can be, like, something that's right here. Ooh, we can even rotate it into different... Oh, there's our variations. Oh, nifty. Does each tree have a variation like that? Hold on. If I go fern and I right-click... Okay, so it's just rotating it. It's not a variation. Okay, fair enough. Uh, desert rock. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, I'm looking for a pine tree and then... No, no, it's just... Yeah, it's just a different style and rotation for it. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I think I'm going to leave this video here. So let me know what you guys think. This is um, Let's Build a Zoo, which is self-explanatory. It's a game where you build a zoo and you manage a zoo. And um, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this game, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, if you can wish list this on the Steam if you want to, uh, links in the description to learn more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.